In this session, I'll be covering a bullet graph. The bullet graph was created by a visualization expert named Stephen Few. And this is basically a chart that has a lot of information with a small footprint. And there is about five th things that are occurring in a bullet chart. Five, five things you'll see. You'll see the text. You'll see a qualitative range of values. You'll see a target value, a performance or actual value, and basically a qualitative range. Uh, and this is kind of like the gradient uh, colors here. Now when we're going and creating it in Excel, I'm using Excel 2007, there's really three components that are being tweaked to create uh, a bullet graph. The target value, the actual performance value, and the qualitative ranges. Let me go ahead and start from scratch. Let's go ahead and delete this. Uh, I'll go ahead and move these, move this descriptive text box up here. And we're going to start off with a table. And basically, when we create our table, we're going to have our our range, our qualitative range. Here, it's from poor to excellent. And these are set values. Now, th these may be set values uh, for uh, a list of um, uh, a, a list of students or products or what what may you what what you may have, and then you've we've got our actual value and our target value. So let me go in here and create a graph out of this table. So what we want to do is we want to first create a 2D column stacked column graph. So once I select that here, let me bring it over here. You can see it's not done correctly. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the switch row column area here and basically, oops, I already switched it. So we switched it here because I've got student A, student B. What we want to do next is select the target value. Now say select it, now it's kind of a selected for both. We'll go ahead and right click and format the data series. Oh, excuse me, go ahead and change this chart type. So what we want to do is change it into a line chart with markers. Select that, click OK, and what we have is our line chart. And we want to do some tweaking here. So I'll go ahead and select that and also right click it and format the data series. What I want to do is have that particular series on a secondary axis. And for the marker options, let's change it to a dash. And let's increase the size to probably about 15. For the marker fill, we'll change it to black. We had black earlier, so we we'll go ahead and change it to black, makes them a little more stark. For the line color, we, we do not need a line, so we're going to say no line color. Uh, for the marker line color, the color that is that kind of borders it, let's just say automatic because we've already selected it as, uh, let's see, what did it choose here? Black. So let's just make it black. The marker line style, we don't need to worry about that. So we're going to close it and we can see our, our target marker here is that dash. The next thing we want to change, so we, we changed our target value, now we want to change our, the actual or performance value graph or the chart here. So we're going to go ahead and select that and right click it, go down to format data series and also put that on a secondary axis. Now since we put it on the secondary axis, it's kind of in, overtaken the columns here for each respective value. We, what we want to do is change the gap. Uh, and we want to increase it uh, over 250. So you can tweak this any way you like. I kind of like going down to, let's see, going up to three, let's go up to 300. And that's kind of a nice value there. Or maybe even, maybe three, maybe 350. Yeah, that probably would give us a good, good, uh, good shape there. And I'm also going to change the fill to black. So we go to solid fill, black. So now we're starting to see a little bit more of our design here. So that was our second component, our actual performance value. So our third component, component what we want to change is the qualitative range values here. So I'm going to go through, through each one and select. 
So I'll probably start with the bottom one because that one had the darker shade and as we go up here it gets lighter. So I'll go ahead and select that one, right click it, format data series, and choose fill. And I'll choose a solid fill. And I'll go ahead and start off with in this gray area in XL 2007. I'll go ahead and start with the white background one darker 50%. And as I go, I don't need to close this window, but as I go up and select uh, each of the other qualitative uh, range values. I'll go ahead and select the solid fill and move up, move up the uh, darker percentages. So this, uh, or move down it. Uh, so this will be 35%. And I'll click that and go into the fill, solid fill, and change that one to 25%. And select the purple here, go into fill, solid fill, and change that to. 15%. So now I've changed that. Go ahead and close it. Now you can see here it seems like the, the values don't really match up and that's because or, or the representation, the, the, the visual view here doesn't really seem to match up well and that's because we have our secondary axis here that's shown. So what we want to do is delete that and that will give us a little bit more representation, better representation of the actual versus the target. So really the, the scale here is more reflective of our qualitative scale here, 100%. And our secondary axis, since we deleted it, the, the, the primary scale is kind of just based off of this, the primary scale here, the, the, the primary vertical scale or vertical axis is kind of based off these values. So now we've gotten our uh, actual and our target. And what we can do is probably just, everything else is just kind of minor tweaking so we can just make this if we're going to put this on a dashboard you can kind of make this a little bit smaller you can see the values or the size of the columns have shrunk a little bit and this is a short and quick view of how to create a bullet graph uh, this is a vertical view we can also create a horizontal view but that's going to involve a little bit more um, and I'll probably show in another video by using the camera tool how we can do that in a more uh, quicker maybe less painless way hope that helps thanks for watching